Hello and welcome. Trust you are all well. In that case, gather around and let me tell you a thing or two about these water buffaloes we have here in Isan and all over Thailand. I have been in this country longer than some of you have been alive. And let me assure you, these creatures are more than just big wet cows. Here are five reasons why I believe just that. Number one, they are cultural icons. These buffaloes are practically worshipped around here. They call them Quang, which I suppose sounds more majestic than muddy behemoths. They have been ploughing rice fields for centuries and folks see them as the epitome of hard work and prosperity. Personally, I think people just like watching something else do all the labouring and hard work. Number two, they are farm hands extraordinaire. These versatile beasts do more than just plough fields. They are the original Thai tractors hauling goods and providing milk for dairy products. Imagine that, a creature that can carry your produce, provide milk and make your cheese. Talk about multitasking. Number three, they are endangered, endangered icons. Now, despite their revered status, water buffalo populations have taken a hit in recent years with all the modernization and all that jazz. There are conservation efforts underway to preserve them, probably because someone finally realized how boring the countryside would be without these hulking creatures plodding about. Number four, there is the Buffalo Racing Festival. Yes, the Chonburi Buffalo Race, an event where you can watch these normally sluggish animals dash madly for a change. It is a spectacle which draws quite the crowd. People come from miles around to cheer on their favourite buffalo because nothing says fun like a bunch of bovines on a racetrack. Finally, number five, their royal connections. These buffaloes were once the darlings of Thai royalty. Used in royal ceremonies and possessions, they symbolize power and strength. Even today, they are trotted out for cultural events because, well, Tradition dies hard in these parts. So there you have it, a crash course on Thai water buffaloes. Now, if you excuse me, I need to find a spot of shade and a cold drink. However, if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button, share the video, leave me a comment, and lastly, subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Well, that's it. Until my next video, it is a very good bye from me. Bye bye.